Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, affectionately referred to as Stark Vegas, where earplugs are highly recommended because the cowbells will be ringing. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils, taking on a team from the SEC, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Mississippi State about to boot it away as we start the festivities. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Arizona State's offense will take the first swing of the game. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Man, does it get any better than that? Creating a turnover on the very first play of the game? You talk about doing this all week, and you talk about, we can beat this team. We're going to go out there and execute. And to do it, the first snap, belief, climbing through the roof, baby. A first down for the offense. Going to run it. It's Booth. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Mississippi State right back to the line. On third down, he drops to throw. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. And he missed it. No good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. That's the type of explosive play you love to start a drive with. First down from the 42. It'll be a draw. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. 
Well, they try to go with draw. They didn't catch the defense blitzing, so it wasn't a great look anyway. But up front, they just got beat regardless. And that back, David, had nowhere to go. He had nowhere to go, but those offensive linemen, you got to set and you got to invite those defensive linemen up the field and kind of push them by. And, and you could tell they didn't do that. They didn't create any holes. There was really nowhere for him to go. You got to give him that first little hole, and then maybe he can make a move. So the offensive line needs to do a better job. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. On third and short, the power run here. They are on the move. As they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 28. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the big fella. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Starting off this quarter close enough to smell the goal line. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's a great stop by this defense. Second down and goal, getting the lost yardage play, now putting your defense in a better position for third down. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking for the score. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. From the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. And it's no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. 
Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Mississippi State going up-tempo. They'll keep it on the ground. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big gain now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. He'll pull it on the read. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And when these quarterbacks run these zone reads or read options, whatever you want to call them, they have to put their eyes on a certain defender, and they're reading him. And basically, you can't be right. That's what makes it so hard to defend, because if you do one thing, he's going to do the other. You do the other thing, he's going to do the other. So good luck stopping him. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. Movement here from the tight end. Off play action. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. From the gun, wants to pass. And that ball is picked off. Takes it the other way. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out, not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. On second down, wants to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. Got it in the middle with Scatterbo. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer to the air on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position that can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. On second down, looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. 
And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They're going to throw it again. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. And the Sun Devils will punt this one away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. A fair catch called for and made. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and ten. He's going to pass. Gets it out fast. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. Offense gets set for second down. Back to pass. It's shaping. Quick completion on the out route. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. And the Bulldogs have it with a first and 10. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout called. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. On second down, he'll fire. Time to take a shot. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Starkville. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Davis Wade Stadium. The Sun Devils will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. A hundred percent. Just you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football. But if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, 
but it was very successful and you're making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Back to throw, it's Shapen. Grabs it in the middle. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Mississippi State right back to the line. Handoff from the gun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. They'll try to snap it quickly. They'll put the tight end in motion. Give to the back. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. They'll line up for a second down play. Right back to the well. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle, it's Coleman. Third down conversions are huge and they've got one and they're at the 35. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You gotta be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. The Bulldogs have this offense rolling. He'll come out throwing on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. A third and long coming up here. Wants to throw. It's shaping. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And the Bulldogs want to move quickly. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Leaves it with the back. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Grabbed over the middle. It's Hudson. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. Now on first and goal, let's see what Mississippi State does. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels.
As we head to the quarter break, Mississippi State has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. On the option, he'll toss it. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Trying to pound it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. After that, there might be a few extra tackling drills in practice this week. But listen, and when you only got one guy there, it makes it really hard to get to the ground. You need a swarm. Where are my other guys? You got to get one, two, three more guys to the football to make sure you get them on the ground. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. They're bringing heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long, different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Grabbed in the middle. It's Smith. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. No, and that's your goal. Separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw it again. Using the quick game. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages. Keep the ball in front of you. Tackle the ball carrier inbounds. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He's right on target. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. And the Sun Devils will hustle to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Scatterbo. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, look, this quarterback has struggled a little bit in this game with interceptions. Maybe he was being too greedy early on that time, made a real good decision. And I'll tell you what, that's a nice catch by the running back because that ball's in the air a long time. You're throwing it all the way out to the flat like that. He looked like a receiver making that catch and getting extra yards. On second down, he'll let it fly. Trying to get to him. 
Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. It's complete. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. The Sun Devils have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Fires it. Snagged in the middle, it's Brown. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's grabbed for the late touchdown. And how about this? It's not over yet. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now how do we get this stop? Now the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level, David. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with a W. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them.